Poplar Island is a massive project that's taken not only decades of resources, but manpower too. And in the end, it'll look a lot like this here, an open habitat for wildlife to thrive. It begins from the sky above, a look down onto Poplar Island. Dredge material brought in placed here in this part of the mid-Chesapeake Bay for more than 20 years. At one point, the island whittled down to just five acres from erosion and sea level rise, now brought back to life to over 1,700 acres. From the bay, we join a crew by boat. Arriving minutes later, we then take a ride, a first glimpse of Poplar Island. Once a campsite for War of 1812 British warships and even a presidential retreat, the island now serves as home to wildlife, including 250 species of birds. We have birds, we have mammals, we have fish, invertebrates, uh, entire ecosystem here on Poplar Island. These habitats are designed with intent, each built for specific animals where biologists research. The marsh is, is extremely tricky to design and construct. There's not a lot of species that are of, of plants that are capable of dealing with this marsh situation. It's tidal, um, it is salt water, and it's really just hard for them to live. There are contingency plans slowing down the effects of climate change. Unloading machines nearby pump that dredge material through hydraulic pumps. This method completed what's called dike construction on the island early last year. And at that means we have the footprint completed, but it still needs to be filled in with dredge material. So we're expecting to receive dredge material for another 10 years. And even beyond that, there will continue to be another decade or so of habitat development. But restoration has helped more than just the environment. All of the federal channels that lead into the port of Baltimore need to be dredged. Dredging has helped expand Maryland's waterways, clearing the path for large ships headed towards the port of Baltimore. It's a value to the taxpayer that we can use it both for commercial, jobs, and environmental coastal restoration. It's considered a win-win. It's one of those things where it's not just an ecological success story, but it's also an economical success story. Back on Poplar Island, the team here says it is decades of resources and passion, bringing an island nearly wasted away back to life. There's a lot of pride in what we do here, and it's a huge collaborative effort of a lot of different organizations coming together to create something that is so beneficial that we can see being a benefit to the environment. This wouldn't have been possible like, you know, 20 plus years ago uh, before construction began. The island is for wildlife, but you can enjoy it for yourself too. You can set up a free tour to really see this growing island from now until the end of October. We're on Poplar Island. I'm Amy Liu, WBAL TV 11 News.